and D stands for neutral density. ND filters are nothing but very clear sunglasses for our optics. Once an ND filter is installed in front of a lens, it reduces the amount of light entering the lens. But why should you want to darken the image? If too much light enters the lens, the camera darkens the image by raising the shutter speed. This will make the lighting look balanced again, but the higher the shutter speed, the more crispy and stuttering the moving objects will look like. Just think of blood splatters and water particle close-ups. The shutter speed should be twice the frame rate. 24 frames per second make a shutter speed of 48 then, 25 frames per second make a shutter speed of 50, and 30 frames per second make a shutter speed of 60. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. What clip do you think looks more professional, more cinematic? Yes, you are right. The one at the bottom looks definitely more cinematic. Correct. The upper clip was shot in auto mode without an ND filter. The shutter speed was always between 800 and 1000. The clip at the bottom was shot with an ND16 filter screwed onto the lens and the shutter speed was manually set to 60. The actual difference gets easily visible if we pause the video. The upper image looks crisp and clear and like a perfect photo, but film is different. We talk of motion and we want to see and feel that motion. The picture at the bottom has a way larger amount of motion blur. Let's zoom into the images. Notice the crisp and sharp plants and the super clear wheel rim at the upper image. And now compared with the blurred plants and the blurred wheel rim at the bottom image. And if we now resume the clip, we see that the clip at the bottom feels way faster. It feels like motion. Now what filters do I finally recommend? With the GoPros I was pretty happy with the Snake River prototyping filters. But honestly I was always a little afraid because of the extra weight a slip over filter adds to the gimbal. So why not simply going with some gel filters? Being honest I have had pretty bad experiences with gel filters already and wouldn't want to use them again. My clear winner and hint on Phantom 3 filters is the filter set made by Polar Pro. First off they do their job, they darken the image, they add no weird colors or fragments and next to that they are screw on filters. Which means that you have to remove the UV filter that is screwed onto the Phantom 3's lens and then attach the ND filter. First off you add about 2 grams of weight only and secondly you take away one optical layer. And of course the image is more clear if you're only filming through one filter and not through the UV filter plus a slip over ND filter for example. The product link by the way can be found on tomstechtime.com slash gadgets. Please return the help and leave your PayPal donation so I can keep up the work. Check out tomstechtime.com slash donate on that purpose and leave your feedback on how you like the filters and share your aerial moments with the community. Facebook.com slash groups slash tomstechtime. Thanks for watching. This was Tom from TDD Tom's Tech Time. Stay tuned and fly safe.